Hello Alex's EDC Army, and welcome to Alex's Knives and Such with the Such Stands for EDC Gear. Today we have a knife versus with two cold steel fixed blades. Recently got, got a while back. This has a belt clip, that's a belt loop clip. You can put your belt through. It says cold steel, it's very plasticky. Very little to no rattle. That's the cold steel. Pendleton Light Hunter versus this cold steel. Skirak Sheath. Actual clip for your pocket or your belt um, or your um, waistband of your pants. And let's take it out so we can tell you what it is. It is the Peacemaker 2. I was striking a ferro rod over this to make fire for my can for my backyard um s'mores area. So of course you see marks, but it's okay. As it's for $28 on Amazon. How secure is this in the sheath? Let me see if you put it the other way and it makes a difference. Let's see, guys. It's even more rattle. No ammo. Hmm, okay. It's the Peacemaker 2. And the Pendleton Light Hunter. They're both in 4116 stainless. Both Taiwanese made. And so this is the Pendleton Light Hunter. Only like so, or like so. This is the Peacemaker 2. The Peacemaker 1 is the smaller of the Peacemakers. Lanyard hole. Lanyard hole. Which is not needed on these knives. And then our lanyard guy. Okay. This is a plastic handle. This is a rubber handle. The tang inside, the tang goes up to here, I believe. I don't know if it's full, full tang, but we'll, but okay. You would hold it like this, or like this. Reverse grip. I don't see why you would want a reverse grip. On this one. But then, it's a little awkward, and then the reverse grip is... Much nicer on this. Okay, let's do some size comparisons. I have the Buck 673, made in USA, 420HC, Boss Heat Treat. This is the Buck Max Light Small. This is the sheath. Nothing fancy. Snap button closure. But it's like this is jimping right here, which these don't have jimps. And you hold like this or like this. It's smaller than both knives. We have two more knives. I got a knife that's custom, cost 60 bucks to get made. And it is the no name knife. But it's made by Thomas Hacker Forge. His name is Thomas Hacker. He's in Festus, Missouri. And it's Thomas Hacker Forge. 51 something steel. I can't remember exact. I, I can go back and look later. But you want to hold it like this. Or like this. Like this. Or like this. His maker's mark is right here. Let's do some size comparison. Bigger than the Pendleton Light Hunter and smaller than the Peacemaker. 
And last but certainly not least, this USA made. It's easy to do that. You turn your belt and you're down. You gotta just do this. It is the BK bar. BK and K bar made in only New York, USA. BK18. So we're holding it like this, like this, or like this. Now let's do this as comparison. It's bigger than the Pendleton Light Hunter. It's a pretty large knife, so smaller than the Peacemaker. Okay. You can get this for $28, give or take. The Peacemaker 2. And this is about 20 25 give or take. Maybe 18 to 25 The sheath is just... Mm, it's a lot of rattle up in this part. So, but, yeah. Clip is very tight. So it's very not, not fun to put in your pocket. Or on your belt loop. Hold on, I can't get my knife in the sheath. Problems here, excuse me. Okay, got it. Let's do the sheaths together, which is... They're about the same size and over length, a little bit. No, about the same size, all total length. Much easier, way more stiffer and not fun look. No, not fun. It snaps in there for the Pendleton Hunter, Light Hunter, for the Peacemaker too. If you miss, you're hitting, you're hitting the um, ramp to go in, so. This is how you would do it. You put it in and then you It's not really secure snap at all. You think this would be more secure than this, but no. Whoa, sorry. I went away from you. Let's do a cut test now. Pendleton Light Hunter. It cuts. Now the Peacemaker 2. Both very sharp. Mm. 
you can get the Pendleton Light Hunter for cheaper than 25 usually. And you can get the Peacemaker 2 for 28 on sale. Either way you go, you get 4116 stainless steel, Taiwan made, better sheath, weaker sheath, more rattle, you know it's secure X. Bigger blade, bigger handle, bigger everything. Depends on how you want to carry it and your laws. But overall, I give the Pendleton Light Hunter with the sheath part a 10 out of 10. With the holding part, a 9 out of 10. No jimping, but you can feel this part right here if you bear down. This, I give the sheath a uh, 6.5 out of 10. Holding it. Like this, I give it a 7.5. And, and like this, a 6. But it's not to the point where I'm not going to use it ever. It's not to the point where it's just trash and needs to be broken and thrown away. It's a good, it, it's a decent knife. Above average on, on usability. So let me know what you think of these knives in the comment section below. And if you have either one, let me know how they work for you. Like, comment, share, subscribe, even dislike. Have a great day. Be safe. Subscribe to my channel for more to come. Look out for the guy girl to your left. Look out for the guy girl to your right. Hashtag be up. Hashtag BSKFS. Choose love, not hate. And remember to use your sharp blades. And be careful with tight sh the sheaths. Sheaths. So you don't cut yourself. Right here's the balance point if you care. But have a great day. Enjoy your, your hobby in your life. Bye.